good people what is going on uh it's desmond your guy uh from the algo podcast here coming to you at michigan football uh, at the voice of college football uh, before i get started please like subscribe share uh want to you know boost the the, the channel the popularity uh we're two weeks away from kickoff for michigan and i will be running the um michigan post game uh, after every uh, Michigan football game. So hopefully there'll be more wins and losses. But um, yeah, that, that, that's what we, uh, what we will be doing. And um, there is a post on the channel as well. Um, please vote on the what you feel like the name of the uh, uh, post game show should be. So Maze and Blue Review is uh, the, the name that is up for vote right now. So uh, vote yes or no what you think about it and uh, we'll go from there but um saw a pretty interesting stat uh last couple days but it was the record for michigan uh yards in a total season for a quarterback is only about 3300 yards and i believe john navarre holds that record um now with you know with michigan is, is a lot of schools before you know the 2000s uh it was basically run based you know, run offense, run first offense is, is really everybody was. Um, there weren't many uh, pass first offenses that were out there. Um, and then even as, you know, 2000s, you know, and on forward, uh, Michigan's never been a, you know, an air raid, a pass first team. They've still been a, a run, run first team, even as they have transitioned to, you know, kind of spread football and RPOs, things like that. But um it's funny because in my mind, what I truly think is if Cade McNamara does not break that record this year, uh, Michigan is not going to be where they want to be. Um, I feel like in order for Michigan to get to Indianapolis, Cade's going to have to, he's going to have to be efficient. I, you know, I've, I've talked about that on the channel before. Um, he, he's not going to need to be, you know, a, throwing the ball all over the field of four or 5,000 yard passer, but uh, when you break it down in a 12-game schedule, I may have done my math wrong, but it's roughly like 285 yards per game. Like, and I, I just I don't think that's anything crazy. Uh, I think that is very doable. Um, you know, it, I mean, you look at the pace of play for college football now, and you know, there's there's guys that are having you know teams that are having 75, 80 plays, 90 plays where you know it's just inevitable a, a broken tackle here on a you know a, a quick pass. And, you know, you've got a 50, 60 yard gain. So I don't think that's anything crazy. But if Michigan wants to be in Indianapolis, um, Cade is going to have to throw for at least 3,400 yards and, and maybe on up. Um, and I'm going to actually do another video on what I think the pass attempts that that Cade needs um, before a certain spot in the season. I'll, I'll just leave that teaser there. But um but it's interesting. I, I do think that that record will need to be broken uh, this year in order for um, in order for Michigan to to, to be where they want to be. So uh, thought I would just drop that quick um, video for you guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, definitely appreciate it. Once again, uh, please like, subscribe, and share because it definitely helps the channel and the popularity. And and we want uh, all the Michigan fans on it. So appreciate your time. Peace.